All right, bring it in, bring it in. Now during this timeout, I'm gonna talk about time and range and what it means for someone with diabetes. Why? Because as a great coach once said, the secret to winning is constant, consistent management. Plus, we're getting shellacked out there. I mean, come on. That's not a score, that's a range. Specifically, 70 to 180 milligrams per deciliter, which is the target glucose range for someone with diabetes. And the goal is to spend as much time in this range as possible. Because blood sugars fluctuate wildly, like Henderson's hands when he's wide open, doctors have created this target range. Think about it like the sidelines of a football field. One sideline is 70 milligrams per deciliter, the other sideline is 180 milligrams per deciliter. We want to control the clock, control the ball, and control time of possession. We do that to try and maintain our time and range. If you go out of bounds on this side, it means you've gone lower than 70 milligrams per deciliter, and that can lead to hypoglycemia. <whistles> Symptoms of hypoglycemia range from feeling lightheaded to seizures or loss of consciousness. Severe lows can be life-threatening. The other out-of-bounds line is at the top, <whistles> and that leads to hyperglycemia. Symptoms of hyperglycemia can vary from not feeling so well to a serious condition called diabetic ketoacidosis, which requires a medical intervention. It's best to run a prevent defense by keeping track of glucose levels. Before sugars drop too low, try fast-acting carbohydrates like juice or a granola bar. If they're running high, consider your insulin intake. There is a lot of technology available to help someone stay in range. One of the most important pieces of diabetes tech is a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM. A CGM is like a coordinator, up in the coach's box at the top of the stadium, watching and analyzing the action and giving you real-time updates so you can stay one step ahead. Some insulin pumps are designed to improve your time and range through sophisticated algorithms that use that CGM information to help predict and prevent Highs and lows. Speaking of highs and lows, it's time we got the crowd back into this thing by stepping up our game. Time and range, baby. Let's go.